Joining us now, Dr. Timothy Quinn, board certified family physician. Dr. Quinn, thanks so much for being here. Hey, thank you for having me. So we are seeing these numbers on the rise again. In your opinion, how worried do we really need to be? Well, I actually had this conversation with a patient just one hour ago today. And she was concerned because someone she worked with contracted COVID and she was like, doc, you know, what's going to happen? Do I need to really be worried? And I told her we need to be worried, but a lot of it depends on each individual's risk factors, meaning those individuals that are more vulnerable, your elderly population, those with chronic medical conditions, such as chronic kidney or heart or lung disease, th there's more of a risk that if they contract COVID, they'll have a more severe course or even a higher chance of losing their life. But right now, things are really looking good because we have a lot of tools in place. We now have the antivirals, including the Paxlovid, that's very, very effective. We have strategies in place where we can identify COVID more quickly. But the take home is we really need to be knowledgeable about our risk factors. And if we haven't been vaccinated and boosted, we need to do so as soon as possible. Do you feel that we should be getting boosters now or should we be waiting for the fall? Well, right now the CDC has put out uh, information that there's a new booster that's uh, gonna be released at the end of September, early October. Now this booster is supposed to be more effective of the, the newest strain, the most uh, prevalent, which is the Iris, that's the EG5. And, and this, this new booster is supposed to be much more effective. Now it is being recommended if you're someone in that vulnerable population that I spoke of before, meaning that you have a higher risk of getting really sick and you haven't been boosted yet, Go ahead and get the booster that's available right now. And when the new booster comes out, it'll be made known when you can get the new one. But if you're someone that's relatively healthy, it's okay if you're a little bit behind to wait about a month because that new booster is going to be so much more effective. Okay. Dr. Timothy Quinn, thank you so much for your time.